The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the official post by review for Alberto Machado against Angel uh, Fierro. And the fight ends in another sensational Ring City USA Thursday night classic. Oh my god, what a fight. Okay, so... Put, let, let's put the fight in context. Angel Fierro, he stops Alberto Machado in sixth round. But how did we get there? First and foremost, Angel Fierro wasn't even supposed to be his opponent. His original opponent about a week ago was Hector Tanahara, who was coming off of a loss to Rashidi Ellis. Tanahara pulled out. Fierro was offered the fight on six days' notice. And Fierro took the fight on six days' notice. So he really believed in himself. He really, he really backed himself and he really believed... In his heart of hearts that um, he could be Alberto Machado by taking this fight. Because if he, if he didn't believe in himself, he wouldn't have taken that opportunity to fight Alberto Machado. Alberto Machado, he is in the process of rebuilding himself. You know, this guy was once on on the fast track towards big uh, towards stardom at 130. Until he ran into a guy named Andrew Cancio who folded him up not once, but twice. Once, the first time he fought Andrew Cancio, Cancio got him out of there in four rounds. The second time he fought, fought him, he got, the, he got him out of there in three rounds. He then decided to move up from 130 to 135. He picked up a win last December, uh, or December December 2019, I should say, against Luis Poroso. So this was his second fight at 135, and he was looking to build on the momentum. And he looked sensational. The first couple of rounds, he looked sensational. It was the dream start you could have asked for for Alberto Machado. Uh, first round, scores a knockdown. You know, we're talking about a knockdown with a hook, hook to the head, right? Sec second second knockdown in the second round scores a, knock a knockdown with, 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 with an even sharper right hook to the head. So we're talking about two knockdowns in two rounds. And I'm looking at Alberto Machado winning this fight. I'm seeing him. I'm, I'm, I'm on my phone just chilling and enjoying taking a night nice night of Thursday night boxing on Ring City USA on NBC Sports Network. And literally, I'm saying to myself, okay, Alberto Machado's going to win this fight, right? So round three goes by, round four goes by. He's not really like, like he's, he's winning the rounds and maybe nicking one or two of them. But, but I'm noticing Angel Fierro, his, his spirit hasn't been broken in this particular fight. So I'm just sitting there waiting for when and if Machado's going to finish him. And as these rounds went by, it just wasn't happening. As the moments went by, it wasn't happening for Alberto Machado. And Alberto Machado, I think it was like, yeah, sixth round. Sixth round, Um, he's circling to his, I think his right. And he had just thrown a punch. I think it was. I think he threw a right hook or a, yeah, a jab or a right hook or something like that. And he forgot to pick up. He for, he threw the punch, and he dropped his hand. Or I don't know. I, I can't remember if it was a jab or if it was a hook, but he dropped his hand. And when he dropped his hand, I held Fierro shot a left, a left hook. Boom, caught Machado flush, and he was out. So it's another fight for Machado. Another letdown for Machado. His third loss in four fights. Um. His third loss, all by knockout. So if there's one thing that we can say about Alberto Machado is that he has no chin. He lacks the durability to compete at the top level. And it's like, what the hell? Look, look, look. I'm, I'm, Puerto, I'm, half, I'm, I'm half Puerto Rican myself. What in the hell is going on with these Puerto Rican fighters, man? Verdejo couldn't get it done against Nakatani. And, 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 and he was winning that fight. And just like this, dominating fashion. Just like this fight. This, this is almost like the Nakatani fight. He got stopped. Because a guy could take his shot and, and he didn't he he had the durability or the gall to keep going forward. Same shit happens to Machado over and over and over again. So like I'm this generation of Puerto Rican fighters, man, they gotta get it together. You know, Emmanuel Rodriguez, he got folded up by Anoye in two rounds. Uh Raymar Cabal gotta get the decision against him. I mean, it's just it's not looking good for the Puerto Rican boxing at the moment. And this is just another uh a, a you know bad loss for Puerto Rican fighters. So, you know, Alberto Machado, where does he go from here? I would like to say rebuild himself, but shit, he was in the process of rebuilding himself now. So I think at this point, you never want to write a fighter off because, you know, you never know what, what they can become. And, and Machado, but, but the reality is this, right? Machado has 25 fights in the professional ranks. This is his third loss in four fights. This is his third fight loss by way of, of, of knockout. So with that being said, it's fair to say that Machado is a gunslinger. He's a he's a gunslinger. He's a good TV fighter. He's gonna make for some good moments, give you some good action. But he'll never quite break through at that at that world championship level because he don't have the durability. He don't have the durability, and he and he and technically he make, he makes too many mistakes. And he fought a guy tonight in Angel Fierro, 
who, you know, this is the same Angel Fierro who he had a loss to Alex Martin. This guy, this guy was into the Alex Martins of the world. And outside of Alex Martin, I mean, he hadn't really fought anybody outside of uh, domestic level competition in Mexico. So, you know, Machado was put in to win tonight. You know, he had a fight against Tanahara, who was a good prospect coming off of a loss. Tanahara was substituted with, with a late replacement and he still couldn't get it done. And it's like boxing is like any other sport. The great teams in, in sports find ways to win and, and the bad teams find ways to lose. And in boxing, the fighters that are that are destined to be champion, no matter what happens in the fight or how it plays out, they find ways to win. And the fighters that uh, aren't destined to be champion, they find ways to lose. Whether they look good losing or look bad losing, they lose. Whether they look good winning or, or, or look bad winning, they win. So I think Machado is what he is at this point, a, a good, solid TV fighter, but nothing uh, as far as world championship level. But on the flip side, good win for Angel Fierro. I don't know what's going to happen for him now, but he's definitely earned uh, another big fight. I mean... Yeah, we'll see what we'll, we'll see what happens to him. But uh, that's the news, man. Alberto Machado gets folded up like a blue steel chair again. You know these Mexicans are just they're, they're just they're killing him. They're killing Alberto Machado. So I don't I don't know what, I don't know what he's gonna go, where he's gonna go from here. Um, but it's got to be a very 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 um, you know heart wrenching loss for Alberto Machado. So that's my little review on the fight. If you missed it again, another Ring City USA banger just like we had with uh brandon adams and sergey boa chuck i mean you gotta give credit where credit is due ring city usa is putting on some great fights um and that's why you gotta watch these cards next thursday will be amanda serrano versus Daniel bermudez number one at 126 versus number one at 122 you're not gonna want to miss it i'll be doing my, i'll be doing i'll be doing a post review, review video for that too but um yeah man Alberto Machado loses again in devastating fashion. So leave your comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just giving Daniels. Until next time, take your guys.